mountain, the leaves were memories, quiet and always at the edge of existence, colourful diagonals of nail art, memories hovered around each building, making each block a religious mystery. Sometimes the concrete was lush, pummeled by Venetian rain, other times it was touched by grim and flat despair. But if you looked further inside through the window, there were portents of change and splendor suggested by the tiny cracks and shadows of rain, a cinema of hope. Builders, new high-vis contractors, performing across the stage of the road, warming the cockles of the guard. Yes, you bowed to me, a woman, my sex being called out uncomfortable, a red flag dragged from the bottom of a pile. I replied, there was nothing here, just empty space, six months ago. Now, you stand in a room. There's nothing more real than a physical room, bounded with hard floor, underfoot, to stop you from falling away from yourself. It makes you feel present, alive, you are creating places to be alive in. Your work is existential. You use your hands as humans should, surrounded by the smell of turned clay and water. You are builders of presence and monument, builders of sanctuary and hope. You are philosophers and praxis. I salute you. The solid man with the cracked fuchsia neck wept. The young one swept the road, standing tall. It was true to say I love him. 